Willow has a tradition. People like to get in their Sunday best, I would say. <laughs> I have on a Diane von Furstenberg dress like that. <laughs> it's very fun. Every time I say, where's your hat? What hat are you going to wear? Then I, I try to teach everybody how to pack their hat because you have to come on a plane. Polo fashion is really important because I think it's half the, the fun of the polo event. And it's important to have a matching dog that goes with your outfit. I'm wearing a dress by Tea Bags and Tory Bird shoes. My dress has some wonderful buttons on it. And it's very comfortable, it's a little thick so I can wear it at night if it gets cold or during a beautiful day like today. I think that everyone at Polo takes the time and the effort if you're into fashion that you definitely want to look good and have a good time and get your drink on, meet good people, and it's all about having a good time. For Ralph Lauren Linen Purple Collection. Right, I'm not sure what she's got, but a little Theory. Lacoste. Theory. You know. She's wearing her pushy scarf turned into a shirt. We were late today we didn't know what to wear. You know, we had to pick different outfits and you know how it is. This is it. This is the show. This is the big leagues. You can tell it's the US Open Final by the amount of people, by the, the people that I know from Polo that are in California and Colorado, they're here for the finals. Because to this, them, it's like going to the uh, Super Bowl. So the 2008 Stanford US Open Polo Championship is underway. We had a quick whistle. Surveying the uh, sidelines here. When he threw the ball in, the first thing you're thinking of is not the ball, but the person next to you. you you'll hear a player say to another, take the man, take the man. And, and the saying in polo, in good conventional polo, it's man first, ball second. So if, the, if you see the ball, you don't just run to it. You, you, because there's, there's going to be an opponent on the other side who's guarding you, you're guarding him. So you're going to want to get next to him and push him out of the way so you have a clear shot at the ball. Or if you can outrun him, uh, th then you don't have to worry about him. But you, at least you've got to first think of the man before you think of the ball. Hagee, keep the ball out in front. Hagee, got the ball on the right hand side. He's heading up to the 60 yard strike. Deep next shot, heading to goal. Two players come together. It's a Cambiasso, a Delpo Cambiasso right there. He shoots, and the first goal of the game goes to Grand Orchard on that pass from Nachi Hagee. To Adolfo Camiasso. Those of you joining us for the first time. In the first chucker, teams are usually feeling the other team out, so to speak. And you don't usually see the best horses uh, in the first chucker. The first chucker was pretty even. Uh, Crab Orchard scored the first goal, Monjitas the second. Then Monjita scored again. They had a 2 1 lead. At the end of the chucker, they just traded goals and the score was 3 3. the second horn. chucker number one. Put those hands together. Let these players know we're out there in support. 3 3 the score. And just the one full chucker play. All right, looks like we got the players just now ready to start chucker number two. The score tied up three goals each. We're going to start playing where it ended the last chuck and we'll hold it. Ball is in play, chuck number three is underway. First one there, it's Jeff Blake to come away with the play. So steals the play. Golfo Cambiasso, two and a half feet, he's left it down for Nachi. Nachi came. Nachi working his way forward with the play, holding out the defending player. Nachi making his way forward. Nachi, Nachi, Nachi! And the first two goal lead! Goes to Crab Orchard on that goal by Nachi Hage. That, that second checker broke. You might say that, that set the tone of the game. It's Nachi today. Blake is there to break up the play. Blake sends one down to Hage. Blake's pass up to Nachi. Nachi at the 40. Nachi at the 30. Nachi, Nachi, Nachi. Jeff Blake hands the ball to It's very hard to hold. 
the lead for a long time. Whole game last you know, between an hour and a half and two hours in the six periods of play. That's, that's a long time. You know, people might come here every day and watch these games, and the part they don't see is uh, what the behind the scenes thing with the horses and the grooms that actually take care of them. I mean, these grooms, they'll wake up at five in the morning and feed those horses. They'll clean the stalls, groom the horses. They'll ride them, and maybe take them in sets, a group of four or five at a time, exercise them for an hour. If we're going to the track where we do the exercise for these horses, Normally we walk 20 minutes and then we trot for 20 minutes. And then we stop and then uh, we walk again for 20 minutes. I do this before the match. Yeah, I couldn't believe the reaction on the field. I mean, you know, guys going this way and that way, oh my god, you know, but they miss each other by an inch. And, no, they, I mean, nobody threw in the white towel here. Adolfo Cambiasso cuts it off the pass. Adolfo breaks down field. He's left it behind. Eduardo trying to catch up. Here if you comes Adolfo. Get loose Adolfo. with the ball, and you're, if, if you carry the ball to the door, it's like you, you hear the wind kind of like we do now, and you can't hear the PA, you can't hear anything. It's just like you're in a zone. Uh, a quick, quick uh, decision. When I was younger, I knew that I wanted to play ball. All the tournaments that I that I tried to win it, I, I won it. So, so I'm happy about my career at, 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 until now. But uh, you st I still think that I can win some more. So I aim to whatever I play, I try to win it. The relationship with the horse is uh, sometimes is what I think is a little bit like in the race car. Uh, the car and the, and the driver, I mean, it's very important. It's uh, one of the most important things in sport is the horses. They, they are the ones that they run, they stop. We just have to make them go wherever you want to go, but they have to go. So I think the horse is the most important thing in this game. When you win means that uh, you pick the right players, you pick the right horses, and, and you're playing well. So that means that, that's my best moment. I like to keep playing the, the, the most important tournaments, which is the US Open, the Queen's Cup and the Gold Cup in England, and the Argentine Open. I think those, those are the four best tournaments, I think, around the world. So my motivation right now is to try to play and win those four tournaments for the next five years. And 
seconds downfield. He hits it back to Nacho. Nacho, he's got about 11 seconds now. Nacho unwinds a pass down towards goal. Javier's got the leg. Javier, Javier. And what a key play. That's the goal. It's now 10. In the third, both teams scored twice. Halftime, the score was 10-7, so Crab Orchard still had a three-goal lead.